for as long as I can remember thinking of the Minnesota Wild, I just, I think of Miko. He's just, he's been there, big number nine. If you ask a lot of people in the state, when you think about the Minnesota Wild, who's a player that comes to name, a lot of people are gonna say Miko. Koivu, straight in, he scores! He's been a part of some good teams and um, not some not so good teams, but I mean, to be able to stay even every single year and come back every year and work hard and lead the way, it's pretty special. I can relate to him. We've both been through a lot of ups downs, so I think it's been good for both of us to have each other. He's been he's you know he's been a good guy for me to have uh, through some rough times. Pamela Demetrio looks in front, quick shot, score, Koivu. When you say number nine in Minnesota Wild, everybody knows who who he is, and um, a thousand games there, you don't see that very often. Number nine, the man who wears the C, Miko Koivu. A thousand games in general is just an amazing to accomplish. Koivu charges, gets up speed. To play that many games with one organization is special and something that he should be proud of. Moves in towards the goal. He's been through it all, right? I mean, you kind of just want to win the cup just for his sake. Now Koivu goes to the back and he scores! Yes. Koivu on the backhand scores! You could not have scripted this any better, Bob. The Minnesota Wild are proud to select our first selection in the 2001 entry draft from TPS in Turku, Finland, center Miko Koivu. As a young kid, you were nervous coming in. To me, it was very important to know the, uh, who was in the coaching and, and, and who was in the management. Uh, because when you hear those names and you know their uh, background with hockey and, and as players, what they were, you knew uh, you were in good hands as a player. The players wanted to buy in what we're doing. Players wanted to buy into a team that has a chance to win by playing together. Center shots, he scores! Miko Koivu! Jacques set the tone and I think uh, Miko was, was the guy who kind of uh, was example how the Wild uh, should be playing. He was hard on Miko. Uh, you know, Mikko played a full year here before I got here and he told stories about Chuck making back, back skate and working really hard every practice. Mikko couldn't understand, he couldn't believe, he was mad about it. And now later when we are talking about it, he understood everything. He is so thankful, grateful that he had Chuck as his coach and really demanding a lot and teaching him and uh, he has a big part of Mikko being the player he is today. We had some battles with him. But he would always then explain it to you, like, if you keep doing things this way, it's gonna hurt you. You're not gonna be the same player. Then you kind of go, you go home and you think about what he said, and then you realize, like, I was being stupid or whatever, but he was hard on you, but you also realize that he cares for you. And I think that's something, especially for a young player uh, coming in, uh, you don't always necessarily understand that he does that because if he cares for you or he sees something that, that you don't. I like to put pressure to get success. Every day success, one day at a time. Everybody chips in, everybody puts the effort and that's how you move on. Jock taught him how to play the game the right way and I don't think Miko's changed his style of game. Uh, he's been, he's played the same way his whole career, I think. Uh, I think that's a big reason why he's had so much success. It meant a lot to me and made me a player who I am today.
Boy who reaches center ice. Lewis wound up flat on his back. That's the thing with him is the commitment level is always there, right? No matter no matter what, and guys love that about him. He's just so competitive and wants to win, and 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 that's why he's been the captain. I think for so long because he drives the team in a practice and he's pissed off you after practice. Maybe you whacked him in front because he yeah. beat you or something. Or... That's always, I was laughing every one on one battle. Mika wanted to go against you yeah. every time because, and then they're <laughs> slashing each other yeah. in the corner yeah. and just, just laughing in the match. It's so yeah. fun. But yeah. turning around like lobster. Oh, yeah. yeah, just so mad. I used to hate him. I used to hate playing against him. He's uh, worked so hard, he's strong. We used to go after each other, you know, and slashing and yelling and mother effing each other. Uh. I had moments that I'm like, well, probably shouldn't have done that. Whatever it is, it just kind of takes you with it and, and, and it's too late to, to think after. When he gets mad, he, he can get a little mad too. And uh, I remember a couple of times we've had those few couple of weeks that there hasn't been any, any talking or anything so but after that everything's good. He practices very hard and all he expects from teammates is to practice as hard as him and to be to, to follow the rules like he does and uh, uh, he gets mad when people don't do that which is what you what you want him to do. As a coach that's what you want in a captain. Miko Koivu through the slot he scores! Miko Koivu, the Minnesota captain. My first or second year here, uh, Detroit scored a goal on a bad angle. It hit Miko's skate and went in, and media asked me, I said, well, it's bad luck. It just hit the skate. You can't really do anything. I should have maybe stopped. And he didn't talk for a week to me because I thought, he thought I blamed him. <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to talk before he says something. And then one day he had to talk to me, and then it was over. Here's Koivu. What a move by Miko Koivu! Scintillating. Well, he's so strong for one. So you know when you're going against him in a face-off, there's a good chance you're gonna, your hands or your wrists are gonna get hurt. I was lucky because I would uh, make sure that Saku played every shift against him and uh, Saku would never let his younger brother beat him in situations and so it was a real big battle between those two all the time. His brother's charged with trying to shut down that top line that Miko is centering. While I was still playing we used to skate often in the summertime together and uh, that's when uh, quite often uh, things got pretty competitive and, and and from those practices from those scrimmages I still I still probably have a few marks from his cross check or, or uh, slashes. Playing against my brother or, or playing against your good friends. Uh, that's what's always kind of been hard for me. You respect them and, and, and you respect obviously your opponent always, but I think it's just something that I'm used to. And if I get out of that zone, then I'm not as good as I, I can be. And uh, at the end, you're there to play hockey and there to win. Leaves to Koivu. Koivu scores! The captain wins it for the wild! For more Becoming Wild presented by Toyota, make sure and go to wild.com. You have to earn his respect, you know, from, from day one. Um, and personally, that's something that I, I really admire about him is he, he doesn't hand that, he, that out easily. Um, you know, for me coming in, it was a lot about, you know, you got to earn your keep. You got to do everything that, that all the rest of these guys in this locker room did, the other 22 guys, and um, you know, every single guy came in and earned their way. Won the draw, Zucker to Koivu, he scores! He's a guy that I've had a lot of respect for in this league. The Wild and the Dallas Stars here at the Exhale Energy Center this afternoon, but the story is really Miko Koivu playing in his 1,000th NHL game, all with the Minnesota Wild. I just try to keep it as much as a routine, uh, going into the game. Most important though, stay alive, 100 star boys. Woo! Thank you. Well, we'll talk about it after. Let's win this one though. Hey, Suits, congrats on 1100 too. Oh! Some would say this could be the biggest day in wild history. Hello again, hockey fans, and welcome to the XO Energy Center here in downtown St. Paul. And obviously the biggest story here this afternoon is Amigo Koivu. We protect the middle of the ice at all costs and we'll be successful today here. And it's all gonna start with Miko. Your line's starting here. I see you and Sue Slip. Once you get into the game, you get that first couple shifts into it. I think that's when 
you just play the game and then that feels good. Koivu wins and we're underway from downtown St. Paul. Koivu tried to relay to the corner of Paris. He squirts free and they score! Tipped in by Fiala off the feed from Koivu. Fiala with the tip in, power play goal, and the Wild lead Dallas 1-0. And this will be point number 700 in Nico Koivu's career. First Wild player to reach that number. Comes fittingly in game number 1,000. You don't think about that stuff during the game or, or right there, but I think actually he's the one that is did somebody get the puck, and that's when I remembered it's, uh, it was probably the 700. Got it to Zucker. Zucker centers. Zuccarello, a chance. Stall on the backhand. And a pad saved by Bishop. Spurgeon on the left one. Gets to Fiala off the left wall with a quick shot. A no rebound score. Parisi knocked it out of the air. Up and under the crossbar. Power play goal. And the Wild have tied it 2-2. We've got overtime here in downtown St. Paul. That goes wide. Stall out front. It's deflected. Fiala with inside five seconds. Fiala drag, shoot, save by Bishop. Three on three is over. This one to be settled for the first shootout that Minnesota has participated in this year. Parisi against Bishop to open the shootout. And he scores. Now Fiala. Weaving his way towards the net. Tucci scores! Wow. Fiala with a wicked wrister. 2 1 Wild in the shootout. Tyler Sagan will try to match. He scores. Once it went kind of three shooters and then it becomes one by one, uh, I knew there's a chance that I'm going to go in. Saved by Stalock, and we play on. And now it'll be the captain, Miko Koivu, for Minnesota. It just gave me the tap and said this is your night. Nico Koivu, the wild captain, coming off the bench. How fitting would this be, uh, Bob, in his 1,000th game? Well, the question we always asked was, is he going to go to the move? You know the goalies, but it's still different when, when you're in a shootout. And I think about the goalie, uh, what he might do if, if he knows you as a player, if you face him before. Will he go to the backhand? Just decided that I'm going to do what I'm comfortable with and, and went in. Koivu charges, gets up speed, moves in towards the goal. Now Koivu goes to the backhand, he scores! Yes. Koivu on the backhand scores! Skating from that left side, the way he made that move from the forehand to backhand so quickly and just roofed it up, it was unbelievable. Stalock trying to stop Perry for the win. He does! For the first time this year, in overtime, the Wild have the W. You could not have scripted this any better, Bob, if you wrote this up before the game even started. But boy, I'm looking at players right now, and they're congratulating Stalock, but they're all going to Miko. A special night for the Minnesota Wild. He might seem like he's intense and, you know, captain serious, but uh, you can you can joke around with him. He loves chirping, uh, loves when guys give it give it to him. Once I, you know, figured Nico out and the type of person he really is and um, all caring and, you know, there is a sense of humor under that that's that that face and um, no, I get a kick out of it and, you know, he's not scared to give it right back. Tries to work around Hutton, dropped it back to Foligno, Koivu scores. Swings to the forehand, comes across, scores with the shelf. And the number one star, Wild Captain, number nine, Miko Koivu! I don't think there's a better feeling as an athlete uh, or as a hockey player than having something and then going through the motions and, and then doing with, uh, with your teammates. It's been your day all day. What has this meant to you and to have everybody in your family here to watch and to play this game out the way it did, Miko? Well, like I said before, I think uh, um, having a chance to, to play in front of uh, from the home crowd, in front of these fans, um, that meant. That means a lot for me and, and my family. Congrats to you and your family. What a special day, Miko. Way to go. Thank you.
one one going into third. This is where that crazy stuff happens in this game. And sure enough, out over the bench comes Miko in the shootout and buries it. And their guy missed the net. And uh, it's pretty crazy how that stuff works out in this solid game. The way they mobbed you on the bench after the game, <laughs> how good did that feel? It says a lot, obviously, about the respect that you have. To be honest, uh, to me, that's what hockey is all about. And uh, sometimes, as a veteran guy, you have to be uh, not the nice guy and all that, but uh, always try to uh, do the things that I believe is right and, and go with that. So, uh, but I think uh, that's probably the best feeling of, of the whole day uh, to get that from the guys, and, and uh, I really appreciate that. Zach, big goal there. Yeah, yeah big goal. Uh, thanks guys. Um, I think it's, it's been a great day, but to, uh, to finish with a, with a win, obviously, uh, makes it that much better. So uh, let's keep it going. See him kind of get it with his patent backhand move that he used to perfect on back yeah. <laughs> in practice all the time. Um, yeah, it was nice. It was pretty special to see that and see the reaction of his teammates and stuff. Like I know the media talked about it. You just see what type of person he was and how everyone was, was, was excited for him. So I think us kind of watching from afar, he had kind of that same feeling. You're just kind of excited. That's why uh, he's a captain and he's, he's on the ice in uh, every important situation. For more Becoming Wild presented by Toyota, make sure and go to wild.com. On December 1st, Miko Koivu reached a milestone that places him among the elite players in NHL history by playing in career game number 1,000. Hey, how are you? Good, 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 to you good to see you too. Yeah. Becoming the 55th player in league history to play their first 1,000 games with the same team. Good to see you, Nick. How are you, How are you buddy? Good to see you. Nice Thanks for having us here. Appreciate it. Nick, Good to see you. This is so great that you guys are here. To get a chance to come back here, and I don't know if it's almost like a, not like a thank you, but just to recognize what he's what he's done and how important he's been to here in Minnesota and for the fans, the team, all the guys that got a chance to play with them. Hey, guys. Hi. How are you? Good. <laughs> He meant a lot to me to help to get into this league uh, from day one to, to the last day. Nico will probably turn around and meet you as you come yeah, out of the rug. Give you a big hug, probably a kiss on the cheek. Yeah. And uh, finally, you know, I, I get him to pay some beers for me. You know, it, it took a while, but finally. <laughs> and now the man of the hour, Nico Coyle! Hi, guys. How he's going to react when he's going to see us, today. it's going to be a surprise. <laughs> and a special surprise tonight, joining us are four of Miko's close friends and former teammates. Let's hear it for Nicholas Backstrom. <laughs> Kyle Bronziak. Marion Gaverick. And Nick Schultz. What are you doing here? Oh, you know. Hey, buddy. Hey. Good to see you. <laughs> good, 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 good to see you, buddy. Thanks. I had no clue. I mean, uh, Backy was calling me uh, a couple of days before, and I tried to call him like three days in a row, and I'm like, what's wrong with this guy? Like, never picks up his phone. And yeah, I, I think once they walked, walked out the tunnel and came on the ice, uh, after that, I don't remember a lot. Now, please direct your attention to the video board as we pay tribute to this milestone. Miko Koivu through the slot. He scores! Miko Koivu, the Minnesota captain. He has a soft side, but if he doesn't think you uh, you did the right thing, he, he's going to let you know. He's the captain of our team for a reason, and he's kind of a heart and soul guy. Leaves to Koivu. Koivu scores! You play the right way, and uh, the Wild is lucky to have had you as, as long as they have. So enjoy this day and uh, we'll see you at 1500. Congratulations on a thousand games. I'm very fortunate to be a part of it and I'm so proud of you, brother. Congratulations.
present Miko with a Tiffany Crystal emblematic of 1,000 games played in the NHL. Congratulations, buddy. Thank you. It's awesome. Thanks. He's the kind of guy that doesn't, I don't think he likes a lot of praise, but this is something that is so beyond well-deserved. Next, on behalf of the Wild organization, our four alumni players will present the traditional silver stick, marking Miko's achievement of 1,000 oh, NHL games. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Oh, anytime. Thanks for being here. Yeah, absolutely. And one last special presentation to honor Miko's 1,000th game. Throughout his time at the Wild, Miko has been a big supporter and advocate for Children's Minnesota, including sponsoring two private patient rooms at the St. Paul campus. Craig Leopold and the Minnesota Wild Foundation are proud to present a check to Children's Minnesota in the amount of $5,000. Thank you. Proud of you. Wild fans, one more time for Miko Cardo! It's a bad well, curve, this, buddy. That's get in there, back. It's a bad curve. Right anyway. What I learned my first year here, uh, trying to keep it even, I think that's something that, especially when you get a little older, like you want to enjoy the moment. Koivu charges, gets up speed, moves in towards the goal. Now Koivu goes to the back and he scores! Yes. Koivu on the backhand scores! Enjoy the game, enjoy the process, uh, going into the game. Uh, living the life as a hockey player. Leaves to Koivu. Koivu scores! The captain wins it for the Wild! I think that's something that uh, that I I really, truly enjoy. It's a pass for Koivu, who scores! Even probably more now, right now than I did 10 years ago, because as a young guy, you don't always realize what you have. What a move by Miko Koivu! Scintillating. That's why you play the game, and and, uh, and then you still wanna you you wanna go and, and be as good as you can, and uh, I think that's all about it too. Koivu, straight in, he scores. As long as you have that fire and and, and willingness to uh, to do do the things in order to, to win a hockey game, uh, that's always been the, the the thing for me, and, and as, as long as I play it, that will always be there.